Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Quantum Quest, a riveting documentary that delves into the thrilling world of space travel. Today, we embark on a journey that will ignite your curiosity and transport you to the outer reaches of our universe. In the beginning of our documentary, we must captivate your attention and set the tone for the entire film. We want to create an insatiable desire within you to keep watching, craving to uncover the mysteries that lie ahead. And what better way to achieve this than by introducing a conflict, a problem, or an unusual situation that will keep you mesmerized and hungry for more. Imagine a world where ordinary individuals have the opportunity to venture into space. A world where celestial adventures are no longer the exclusive domain of astronauts but are accessible to the daring dreamers among us. Enter Virgin Galactic, a company pushing the boundaries of possibility and paving the way for space tourism. Recently, Virgin Galactic's VSS Unity, a remarkable reusable rocket-powered space plane, embarked on a groundbreaking mission called Galactic O2. This mission marked a monumental milestone as it successfully flew tourists to space for the very first time. Can you imagine the sheer excitement and wonder coursing through their veins? On board the VSS Unity were six remarkable individuals, including former NASA astronaut C.J. Stersko, who commanded the space plane, and the pilot Kelly Latimer. But the stars of this mission were the three private passengers, Keisha Schaff, a health and wellness coach, her 18-year-old daughter Anastasia Mayers, and John Goodwin, a former Olympian living with Parkinson's disease. Keisha Schaff and Anastasia Mayers made history as the first mother-daughter duo to venture together into space. Their journey, facilitated by Space for Humanity, a nonprofit organization democratizing space travel, shattered barriers and exemplified the increasing accessibility of space exploration. Meanwhile, John Goodwin defied the limitations of his diagnosis and soared into the cosmos, becoming the first Olympian to embark on a space trip. His resilience and determination serve as an inspiration to all who face adversity and dream of defying their circumstances. Galactic the 2nd of May have been a suborbital flight, but the experience was no less awe-inspiring. Passengers were treated to several minutes of weightlessness, with views of our planet's astonishing curvature. As the spacecraft ascended, the passengers unstrapped themselves from their seats and floated throughout the cabin, their eyes fixated on the mesmerizing sight of Earth below. The scenes captured inside the spacecraft were nothing short of extraordinary. The pure elation and profound sense of connection to the cosmos were visible on the faces of these intrepid explorers. Keisha Shav described the experience as the best ride ever, while Anastasia Mayers felt a profound sense of unity with the team, the ship, and the universe itself. For John Goodwin, the entire adventure exceeded his wildest expectations. The mind-boggling speed, the dramatic re-entry, and the unfettered clarity when gazing upon Earth left him awestruck and moved to his core. To him, it was undoubtedly the most exhilarating day of his life. As we embark on Quantum Quest, we invite you to join us in the exploration of these captivating journeys into space. Witness the dreams realized, the triumphs celebrated, and the endless possibilities awaiting us among the stars. Adventures like Galactic O2 remind us that the wonder and excitement of spaceflight never lose their magic, fueling our innate desire to push the boundaries of human exploration further than ever before. Stay tuned as our documentary takes you on a thrilling ride, uncovering the incredible feats of Virgin Galactic and the individuals who dare to dream big. Welcome to Quantum Quest, where the boundaries of human imagination are shattered and the mysteries of the cosmos come to life. This is the main guts of your story. The middle section is divided into numerous scenes that build on each other to reveal your story. These segments don't necessarily go in chronological order. Going back in time is an effective filmmaking technique that can keep the audience guessing. Each scene often has its own beginning, middle, end. These mini scenes, patched together, create your story. Traditionally, Act 2 is where the protagonist attempts to resolve the problems and comes against numerous obstacles, often facing an ever-worsening situation. This is where the tension builds and the audience wonders how the protagonist is ever going to resolve the issues, challenges before them. Scene 1. Virgin Galactic successfully flies tourists to space for the first time. The VSS Unity spacecraft, 
carrying a crew of tourists, launched from Spaceport America in New Mexico. On board were the space plane's commander, former NASA astronaut C.J. Stersko, the pilot Kelly Latimer, and Beth Moses, the chief astronaut instructor for Virgin Galactic. Scene 2. Among the passengers were Keisha Schaff, a health and wellness coach, and her 18-year-old daughter, Anastasia Mayers, making them the first mother-daughter duo to venture to space together. Schaff won her seat through a fundraising competition by Space for Humanity, a nonprofit organization striving to democratize space travel. Scene 3. Also on board was John Goodwin, an 80-year-old former Olympian with Parkinson's disease. Despite his diagnosis, Goodwin was determined to live life to the fullest and saw this space journey as a magical opportunity to inspire others facing adversity. Scene 4. The suborbital flight allowed passengers to experience weightlessness and witness the Earth's curvature. After being carried to an altitude of about 44,300 feet by the carrier plane VMS Eve, the VSS Unity dropped and ignited its own rocket motor, ascending to suborbital space. Passengers felt the acceleration and marveled at the clarity of the Earth from space. Scene 5. Keisha Schaff expressed her awe and gratitude for the experience, stating that it made her feel capable of anything and gave her a beautiful feeling of connectedness. Anastasia Mayers, the second youngest person to go to space, described feeling starstruck and deeply connected to the team, the ship, the universe, and Earth. John Goodwin found the experience surreal and dramatic, exceeding his expectations. Scene 6. The crew and passengers shared their exhilaration and gratitude after the flight. C.J. Stersko, the space plane's commander, felt the wonder and excitement of spaceflight, while Kelly Latimer, the pilot, stated that going to space fulfilled a childhood ambition. Now that we've witnessed this incredible journey, we can see how the middle section of your documentary builds the tension and showcases the challenges and emotions faced by these pioneering space tourists. The scenes, when patched together, reveal the unforgettable experience of venturing beyond Earth's atmosphere. The ending of our documentary about Virgin Galactic's historic spaceflight brings a sense of accomplishment to the journey we embarked upon at the beginning. Act 3 is where the tensions reach their peak and the main question posed in Act 1 is finally answered. The mission, known as Galactic O2, began as Virgin Galactic's VSS Unity spaceplane, carrying six individuals, including the first ever mother-daughter duo to venture into space together, launched from Spaceport America in New Mexico. Aboard the spacecraft were the experienced commander C.J. Stersko, pilot Kelly Latimer, and Beth Moses, the chief astronaut instructor. Joining them were three private passengers, Keisha Schaff and her daughter Anastasia Mayers, who won their seats in a fundraising competition, and the former Olympian John Goodwin. The trajectory of the suborbital flight allowed the passengers to experience several minutes of weightlessness and witness the curvature of the Earth. Inside the spacecraft, the passengers unstrapped themselves, gazed out the windows at our beautiful planet, and marveled at the incredible view. Keisha Shav described it as the most amazing experience, and Anastasia Mayers felt a deep connection to everything around her. John Goodwin, despite being shocked by the acceleration and re-entry, was moved by the pure clarity of Earth seen from space. After the successful landing, the crew and passengers shared their awe-inspiring moments. Commander Stersko expressed humbleness and wonder, while pilot Latimer fulfilled a childhood ambition. Sir Richard Branson, the founder of Virgin Galactic, celebrated this milestone and welcomed the private passengers to the Club of Commercial Astronauts. This groundbreaking spaceflight not only showcased the accessibility of space travel but also broke barriers. It marked the first ever mother-daughter duo to venture into space and included an 80-year-old Olympian with Parkinson's disease, inspiring others to pursue their dreams despite adversity. Looking back at the entire journey, it is clear that the ending of this documentary leaves us with a sense of awe and fulfillment. The question of whether space can truly be accessible to everyone has been answered with a resounding, yes. Virgin Galactic has achieved a remarkable feat, and as we conclude our exploration of Quantum Quest, we are left with a newfound appreciation for the wonders of space travel.